Another frosty February night. Last night it was something like minus 30 Celsius. <laughs> We're pretty close to it, so yeah. It's a cold one tonight. I don't know if you've heard this phrase before. The best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Mm. As we look at what's been going on, two years of hell and it's starting to show we're fed up with it, okay? People are at the breaking point, okay? People have, you know, lost friends. Society's divided, you know? We're tired of these mandates, lockdowns, restrictions, everything. We're done with it, we're tired of it. It's gone on long enough, so yeah. Oh, and you know what? There has been more collateral damage than anything else. Everyone knows that. But what gets me is how, what do you, do you enjoy living like this where it's like you gotta show your paperwork to go into a restaurant or a theater as if, look man, East Germany was done back in 1989, okay? The sta there's no more Stasi watching every move you make, okay? It's not like that anymore, but I mean seriously. It's like, do you enjoy <laughs> the fact that, oh, it's like you got to show some certification before you can go into there. Or in some places, it's like, you know, you can't travel unless you got your certification or your back passport or whatever. It's like, seriously. I mean, some people, it's like, they're like, you know, oh, yeah, I got my QR code. I finally got it. And I got my, my, my third job. I made sure I got that. So, yeah, I, and it's like some people are making it like, what, are you now part of a religion? Like, but here's something else I got thinking about. It's like, I'm beginning to think that some people may like the idea that, oh, you didn't get vaccinated. Oh, you don't have a vaccine passport. See, I got one. I get to go in that restaurant. You don't. I get to go in that theater. You don't. So there. It almost seems like People are being really spiteful about it, as if, yeah, I get to do that, you don't. Well, that's what it seems like. I mean, like, really now. We know what's going on. You know, the, you know the deal. It's like, we've had enough of this, you know. You know, there's been a lot, yeah, a lot of collateral damage. You know, we're pretty much fed up with it. And here's the thing. There will come a point where, I guess it'll be, is that, well, eventually, we hope soon enough, it will all come to an end, you know? It'll be all over, all, everything, done. Done, done, and done, no more, okay? It'll finally come to an end and we return back to what we were before, like in, you know, back in 2019 or 2018, you know? Back to normal. And we can look back and say, oh, finally, it's all done. Now we can get on with our lives. Eventually, there will come that time. Now, I mentioned uh, the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. Okay? You see, where am I going with that? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but after this is all said and done, we take a sigh of relief and think, glad that's over with. Well, here's the problem. Give it about... 15 years from now, another pandemic will be released onto the world. Uh-huh. You don't believe me? Yeah, it will. When it's announced and people hear the word pandemic, everyone's just going to shit themselves, go into panic mode and freak out because they they're, they're going to be thinking, what? Not again. No. That's why I say the best predictor of future behavior is past behavior. We look at what's going on in the past, you know, how people have been behaving, people fighting with each other in grocery stores because someone didn't wear a freaking mask and, you know, and people losing friends and, you know, how many, how many people have been unfriended on Facebook because of a, an opinion over something? Yeah. I bet we set a world's records. I bet, I bet we set a record on social media for how many people are blocked and unfriended over this. <laughs> over, you know, one thing. So yeah, 15 years from now, it'll happen again. 
And as soon as they announce the word pandemic, people are going to just freak right out and just have a fit and go. They're going to go into panic mode and they might do some, uh, I don't know, some of that, oh, what you call that, uh, uh, panic buying. Like, you know, like uh, bring home a whole pickup truck full of toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, gotta get that toilet paper. Now, I often wondered about that. What's, what's, what's this thing about toilet paper? I guess, I guess sitting on the can with a dangler <laughs> and knowing that you got no toilet paper is worse than walking into your pantry and seeing no food. So yeah, 15 years from now, maybe longer, 17 or 18 years, whatever. I'm thinking about 15 years from now when it happens all over again, yeah. People will start freaking out. It won't, it won't take long. They'll be just, people will be flipping out all, right from the get-go. I don't know, people, people will start behaving irrationally right from the get-go. You know, like... You won't, you won't have to wait until mandates and lockdowns come. People will just go, go all crazy <laughs> right, off the, right off the start. I think you know where I'm going with that. So yeah, about 15 years, we'll do it all over again. But, but yeah, like I said, as soon as they announce it, oh yeah, it'll be like mass hysteria right away. That's kind of my prediction. No. Hopefully uh, it won't happen again. Anyways.